Now I'm going to talk about how to form the future tense in Turkish. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with our verb stem, add the appropriate form of the future tense suffix, and then tack on the appropriate personal suffix. It's pretty simple. Let's see how it works. For our example verb, let's use gelmek to come. We'll start with our verb stem, gel, Ben, optional pronoun, I, gel. Now to gel, we'll simply attach the appropriate form of the future tense suffix. As you can see, the future tense suffix follows the rules of two-way vowel harmony. So it can be either ejek or ajak. And if the verb you're attaching the future su tense suffix to, if the stem of that verb ends in a vowel, you'll need to insert a buffer Y Let's see, gel, nope, ends in a consonant, so we don't need a buffer. Why? We just choose the appropriate form according to two-way vowel harmony. So gel, ejek. Gel, ejek, okay. We're not done though, because we need to add the appropriate personal suffix. We'll add our personal suffix according to the rules of four-way vowel harmony, but because our personal suffix will be harmonizing with the syllable directly preceding it, in other words, with whatever form of the future tense suffix we've chosen, we're effectively going to choose either im or um, or sin, sun, and so on. So, ban, gelecek, im, a. But, because this K is sandwiched between those two vowels. You see how it is stuck between two vowels? It is going to undergo consonant alternation, which you can learn more about elsewhere. What does this mean? That means that in the future tense, when a K is sandwiched between two vowels, with a vowel on either side, it's going to become a soft G, a yumushak ge. So, ban gelecek im becomes ban gelecem. Ban gelecem. Ban gelecem. I will come. Moving on. San gel ejek sin. Now, do we have to change this K? We don't, because it's not between two vowels. It's got a consonant on its other side. So, we'll let this be. San gele Jackson, you will come. O, gel, ejek. And we don't have a third person singular su personal suffix we need to add. So, we'll stop there. This K can, of course, stay as it is because there is no vowel on the other side. There's no letter on the other side. So, o gelecek. He or she or it will come. Biz gel ejek is ah, 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 ah. Sandwich between two vowels. Biz gelejes. Biz gelejes. We will come. Sis gel ejek sinis. Notice that that K does not have to change because it's not between two vowels. And finally, onlar gelejek. They will come. Or we have the option of adding according to the rules of two way vowel harmony our familiar plural suffix. So we can also say onlar gelecek ler, they will come, with or without. It has the same meaning and is equally correct, uh, depending on context. Now, I mentioned that if your verb stem ends in a vowel, you'll want to insert a buffer ye between the verb stem and your future tense suffix. Let's see how this will look in action. For our example verb, we're going to use okumak to read. Oku, verb stem, ends in a vowel. 
Now we want, we know we'll definitely need a buffer Y, buffer Y, oku ya. The rules of two way vowel harmony tell us we're going to choose a jak as our form of the future tense suffix. So, oku ya ja. Ah, ah, ah. We know we're going to be adding our first person singular. Uh, personal suffix, which begins in a vowel, so we're going to have another one of those k's sandwich k's sandwich between two vowels. So okuya jam, okuya jam. I will read san oku buffer ye a jak sun okuya jackson. You will read o. Oku ya jak. Biz oku ya ja. Uz. Consonant alternation. Oku ya ja uz. We will read. Sis oku ya jak sinus. And finally, onlar oku ya jak with an optional lar, okuya jak lar, if we desire to add that plural suffix according to the rules of two-way vowel harmony. Let me just highlight where you're going to see called consonant alternation occurring in the future tense. All right, it's anywhere where that final k in the future tense suffix is sandwiched between two vowels. So in the first person singular, and in the first person plural. And that's how you form the future tense in Turkish.